Barcelona are tracking Mexican striker Santiago Jimenez, according to an ESPN source. Let's give credit to the reporting. A combination of Sam Marsden and Moises Llorens, a couple of our colleagues. The Spanish champions are reportedly aware that competition for the striker will be stiff and that Feyenoord are set to demand a big fee. That hasn't, however, slowed their interest in the 22-year-old who has 13 league goals plus that brace that we saw in Champions League play against Lazio. Herc, what do you make of the reports and what kind of fit do you think Santiago Jimenez would be at the camp now? All right. First, the reports. What do I make of them? They're monitoring Santiago Jimenez. Mm -hmm. Every club monitors a player. That's what they have to do. They have mm -hmm. to see if the player could potentially be part of the club. It doesn't matter if it's Santi Jimenez, a defender, whoever the case may be, big or small, if it comes across their radar, they monitor. Now, can they get him in financially if that were the case? No, they're selling off assets left mm. and right. They're having trouble registering players on time. And if you go back, and if you go back and look at their transfer history when it comes to nines, yeah, Santi Jimenez could be there. I mean, mm -hmm. let's go, look, Lewandowski, they spent, what, $45 million on him? That's a player who's tried and proven, right? That's somebody mm -hmm. who they desperately wanted, desperately needed. What about everybody else there? Obama Young, free. Memphis Depay, Depay free. Kun Aguero on a free. Luke De Jong on a loan. Martin Brathwaite, 18 million. Paco Alcacer, you know, you have to go back all the way to Luis Suarez for the first time they spent some real money hmm. on a nine, and that was over a decade ago, Seb. So can Santi Jimenez go to Barcelona financially? I see it being very difficult. They're in dire straits. This isn't uh -huh. the Barcelona of old. But tactically? Mm -hmm. Tactically? Would that make sense? Tactically, if yes. they could do it? Because you know Feyenoord's going to be like, hey, listen, man, we'd love to help you out, but this is going to go highest bidder. And there are all the clubs in the Premier League that mm -hmm. could spend a lot more than what Barcelona could probably spend and the majority of teams out there could spend on Santiago Jimenez. So he may just go to the highest bidder. But let's mm -hmm. for a second play Fantasyland. Let's for a second say Barcelona could afford him, Barcelona wanted him. How would he fit? Think about this for a second. Santi Jimenez, Joao Felix, La, La Mil Yamal, eh, eh, Gavi behind or Pedri behind, Fermin Lopez. Like, think about how exciting that team would be in open space. That could be something that I would tune in for. But is it realistic? Mm. Probably not. Yeah. I don't know about the financial fit, Herc. I'm not a cap guy. I think the league would be a fit. We talked about it before. I think La Liga would be a great fit for him. I think Barcelona would be a great fit club-wise for him. Obviously, they have kind of that Dutch DNA from the Cruyff era, and he's been schooled by the Dutch. So I think there's a lot of reasons to think this would be a good fit in terms of the tactics and the level. My concern here would be the fit in terms of the roster. You mentioned Lewandowski. Uh, he's 35 years old, but he's got a contract, Herc, through 2026 with, I believe, another option year beyond that. Now, there's been links to Saudi Arabia, but, I mean, you could easily see him, even if the contract is till 2026, at least staying to the club, even if he's sold, till 2025. I think there's no way that anybody in their right mind would tell Santiago Jimenez to go to a place where it's very likely that for the next year, year and a half at the very least, he would be second fiddle. And not just second fiddle to anybody, Herc, but to Robert Lewandowski, who's one of the best in the world right now, I think, still. And, and some would say maybe one of the best to ever do it. So that would be the concern for me with Barcelona. However, there's a lot of nuggets in this article beyond some things that make us think, to your point, this isn't really realistic yet. Uh, the authors of the article point out that Barcelona's priorities are much different. They're looking for, like, a deep-lying midfielder. They got, they got to get help at fullbacks. Yeah. Um, and so I think, I think maybe this isn't something that we can dream of right away. But something that stood out to me in the article is that Barcelona are prepared to pay big money. And I don't know if you saw some of the reports this week out of England, where, of course, he is also linked. The numbers now, Herc, are approaching, like, 90 million pounds. This has to be the most interest that a Mexican player has ever generated. And that's the thing that I took away from this report, is in an era of darkness for Mexican soccer, just what Santiago Jimenez could mean. He is truly a bright, shining light. And if he goes for the numbers that they're talking about, Herc, it's going to set every record for a Mexican player ever, and it's going to be a record that no one's going to touch for a long time. It's going right for strikers around the world now, if you think about it. It's in the 100 million. Mm -hmm. um, and listen, to... To these reports, this morning I read that there are 
two Nigerian forwards that Barcelona are monitoring as well. Victor mm -hmm. Osimhen and Victor Bonafes. So, so say what you will about these reports. But when you're talking about these type of numbers, that would put Santiago Jimenez in the category of his own, not only in Mexico, but in CONCACAF. $75 million is the transfer fee for Christian Pulisic that to date is the highest transfer fee ever in CONCACAF. If those reports are true, and the going rate for a prime star striker in the world is about $100 million? Mm. Wow. Yeah. Big money. Uh, by the way, Barcelona also apparently have signed some 18-year-old Brazilian. I don't know where they got the money for this, but they paid like $30 million for him, $40 million for him. So yes. um, maybe there will be some, some competition there. Surely more competition than we were talking about at Real Madrid. If I had to look at, at that comparison, I think you know it's an easier, easier pathway to the Real Madrid starting 11 for Santiago Jimenez than Barcelona, right? You'd rather compete with Joselu well, than Lewandowski. Well, yeah, Victor Roque is the Brazilian you're talking about, yep. but hold on, when you talk about Real Madrid, you still got just the elephant in the room, which is Mbappe. So it's, there's- I know. They're, they're gonna play together in a front three, bro. Not, Stop hating they're, they're on not. Mbappe and Santi as just the next dynamic duo, along with Vinny, oof. Ah. Yeah. Now we're talking, baby, now we're talking.